Hello, everybody. We'll do our daily Bible reading. Uh, it's Friday. Just got off work. You got to do all my Christmas wrapping for our family party tonight. Mom's going to be going to see a cousin of mine. He's uh, being inducted into the Navy, and he's going to be going for basic training in the Navy. And they're having the ceremony tonight. She's going to go with my Aunt Mary to that so that I can get the car ready and everything for our family dinner and get together tomorrow up my sister's house in Junction City, which are like an hour east of Columbus or an hour and a half east of Columbus, up in Amish country. So, but we are going to go ahead and read chapter 16 for our daily Bible reading. And this is the book of Revelation. <clears throat> And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as the blood of a dead man, and every living soul died in the sea. Wait, every living soul died in the sea. So does that mean there are animals in the sea that have souls? I need to check into that. Or maybe they mean if there are people in the sea, in the waters as they turn to blood as if of a dead man. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and fountains of waters, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of the waters say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art and wast and shalt be, because thou hast judged thus. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord, God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched with great heat, and blasphemed the name of God, which hath power over the, these plagues. And they repented not to give him glory. And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seed of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness. And they gnawed their tongues for pain, and blasphemed God of heaven. Because of their pains and their sores, and repented not, of their deeds. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, and that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet, for they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle that great day of God Almighty. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air. And there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying, It is done. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings. And there was a great earthquake, such as what not since men were upon the earth so mighty an earthquake and so great and the great city was divided into three parts and the cities of the nations fell and great babylon came in remembrance before god to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath 
and every island fled away, and the mountains were not found. And there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent. And men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hell, for the plague thereof was exceeding great. Chapter 16, the book of Revelation. All the souls of the sea did die. I want to research that a little bit more. That was kind of... Wow. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and pray because we got a lot to do this evening. Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we come to you today, Lord. We praise you. We honor you and we cherish you, Lord. Lord, be with everybody as they spend this next few weeks with their family and their friends. Allow them to remember the reason for this season. Whether you're going to be one of the people of the opinion that this is not the time that Christ was born, not the time that you were born, or if you're one of the people that know that this is just a day that we choose to celebrate it, Lord. We pray to you, Lord, and we thank you for all the blessings you have given us. Don't let any of us be tripped up by that, and please allow us to remember the reason for the season, Lord. This is not just a commercial holiday where a bunch of companies are able to get themselves into black from the red and everything, Lord. This is just this is a time for family. This is a time for remembrance, for celebration of the time that we celebrate your birth, Lord. We love you. We thank you for everything, and we praise you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, we do pray, and amen. All right, everybody, we'll see you tomorrow. I'm not sure at what time, because that is our family get-together, and i got to drive all the way to Junction City, which is about two and a half hours, and then two and a half hours back, so that I can be at church on Sunday morning, because I don't want to miss church. So, um, we'll see you then. Later. <laughs>